Guys, what is going on? Welcome back to yet another episode. We are here at one of the biggest reptile shipping importing facilities here in South Florida. I'm super excited to show you guys this place. We are finally here to film an episode at Underground Reptiles. Hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. All right, guys, so we're outside. Um, this is your Tegu breeding area, I guess That's you right. could say. Um, so for those of you guys that don't know, I just took in a Tegu because of all the law changes here in Florida. Uh, this lady was having a little bit of financial issues, but she also didn't want to deal with what is happening with the law changes. So she kind of just wanted to get rid of her Tegu. She was very heartbroken about it. Um, you guys will meet him here sooner than later on the channel. Um, but how is this law change affecting you guys? Well, what's crazy is, and you know, we're one state out of many. Um, so what, what people truly don't understand is that what, an, what uh, um, tegus out in the wild do really have nothing to do with the people like Will, like underground reptiles that safely house, breed, and keep animals. It does me no good for a, a, a tegu to get out. It does me no good for tegus to live in the surrounding areas. So even more than the state, once tegus removed, people like us, we want them removed too. We only help the solution, but the media and the news and the state, they won't tell you that stuff. But we just look like the bad guys. We just look like the bad guys, that's right, because they take, oh, if they're out in the wild, it's connected to the pet trade. And that means that people that breed them are releasing them, or eggs are hatching and getting out. Like, that's so retarded. Why would I spend a year breeding an animal, letting her lay, and then let eggs hatch out and babies take off? It just doesn't make sense. Um, but unless you're in the industry, you know, you don't realize that. So um, we don't condescend or downplay to anybody that doesn't know that stuff. We're here to educate you. That's why my man Will has his <laughs> channel. Yeah, that's yeah. why people hit him up. Hey, take my animal, do this, do that. Like, he's an advocate for our industry. So we support everybody trying to uh, learn more. But tegus are just, I mean, look at this animal. This is an incredible species. This is an albino tegu that my father-in-law started producing. Man, th this took eight years for us to try and produce um, to get the right genetics and to create the actual purple albino tegu. And if you're a zoo out there, if you're an educational facility out there, then you want a giant lizard at your facility to be able to house, to keep, to breed, to show people, to do live feedings with, and just to, to teach people husbandry. And this is one of the 20 different types of tegus that you can put into somebody's facility and have a banging animal. This thing's gonna grow, it's gonna get big jowls, it's gonna eat rodents, it's gonna eat chicken necks and hearts, and whether you're the person that wants it in their house to live in their bathtub, or to, to live outside at a, at a zoo and educate people, tegus are for all walks of life. It doesn't matter who you are, you can keep a tegu and it'd be an incredible animal to house. But they're trying to take that. So that's why people like us and people like Will are trying to educate you on it. Trying. <laughs> trying, man, yeah. we try, you know? So if you guys would like to see the whole egg laying process and all that, if you guys haven't already, check out their YouTube channel. They do have one as well. Um, but they always post the eggs and stuff like that. Um, again, with the law changes happening here in Florida, it may continue, it may not. We're not really sure how it's gonna all play out, but let's go check out some other stuff. Dude, this thing is so crazy looking. 
So this is a cool little Palm Pit Viper. Beautiful in colors. So right now we're actually in a, I guess you'd call this a breeding project room, right? Yeah, that's our breeding facility. So little breeding facility they, they have started. They have some a lot of squams in here, a lot of eyelash vipers, um, some other top secret stuff I'm not allowed to talk about on camera. But this little thing, they are looking, you're looking for a male, right? If you guys have a male one of these, hit up underground because they are they are looking for a male and hopefully i can get some babies from these things because they are beautiful they little eyelashes too how many eyelashes they got two can't even see yeah it looks like two super dope that is a beautiful tree viper one day just don't let me forget one day Look at that thing. Came out burgundy. And you, you always wanna see the transformation happen from them turning to that deep red to getting green, because it really makes their white stripe come out and really pop. But you're also sad to see your baby snake lose all the burgundy in it and start <laughs> getting the green. And what happened is the first day I saw it right on top of the eyes, it started getting two, two scales were green. And I almost did a double take. I was like, oh, it's, it's green. And then, I mean, within two weeks, started getting all this green on the sides. Mm. So it, it does look really cool, and I'm happy that it's growing. It's good. He's awesome. We love this guy. But I'm sad to see that burgundy leave, you know? <laughs> like, ah, oh, it's my baby. It's He's one. gone now. But look at that head. That's a sick animal. Amazon Basin. Super dope. Yeah. These have actually become really popular lately. They're awesome. Anybody, you got a collection out there, if you can afford to get one of these or even a pair to try and set them up, man, these guys are sick. Yeah. Any setup, these will look good in. <laughs> Mondo. Dude, just start filming. This is crazy. I think I filmed with these when I was at Kevin's. Look at that guy. Bro. Look at the fat rolls on oh it, man. Oh my God. So this is a lychee gecko, super dope. Where are you going? Don't bite me. Specifically <laughs> a grand terror, which is the largest species. Where are you going, bro? He is leeches. massive. Right? Absolutely massive. He gets a lot brighter too. He gets this, all this, this yellow on him. But look, look at these, just the skin on his Chunky. neck. And if you fold him, oh it starts wrinkling. Did you hear him ripping oh, off man. my shirt? Dude. He you looks kind of so like an cool. old man. That is one of the biggest oh. geckos. You guys breed in the these? World. We do, yeah. Josiah and Cole breed a lot of leeches. Dude, he is so Look at freaking that thing. healthy and Crazy. everything. So once I get done building my vivarium room, oh my god. Look at those chin rolls. Man. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, when I get done building my vivarium room, I'm definitely gonna start getting other stuff besides just the tree vipers. Yeah. They're definitely on the list. Just to keep them, you yeah, know? Yeah, they're so cool. There's a lot of stuff I want, and a lot of people don't realize that. Like, yes, I love venomous snakes, but now that I have the room to expand, right. I'm gonna be expanding. And a lot of my animals I'm probably gonna be getting from you guys as it is anyway. And there's nothing wrong with keeping it, even yeah. if you're not breeding them. Yeah. And you just no, want to keep breed a them. giant gecko to impress your friends. Dude, he is so cool. Actually, I think I have some photographs when I was up at Nerd. Of uh, some uh, of some, these? Some of those guys, yeah. yeah. I think they do these too. A lot of zoos will keep the Grand Terras just because they're so big and impressive too. That's an awesome What an animal. awesome gecko. Yeah. Dude, he is so pretty. So I do like geckos for those of you guys that don't know. And we were having Junior Man Myth Legend come over and talk about them. That's me. That's you. Where are you going? Uh, so this guy is a gargoyle gecko. He's from New Caledonia and uh, gargoyle geckos come in a variety of colors ranging from yellows to reds and uh, you know, come here. And also oranges. Um, they come in striped, they come in blotched. Um, he is here. beautiful. I got a you got more? Little red blotch. Actually this one's orange blotch. Oh dude. That thing is stunning. Mm-hmm. So you're pretty much in charge of breeding all the geckos? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guys, this is 
the owner, Ryan Gitman's son. Hi. Where are you going? Hi. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Before he jumps away. Yeah, this guy. Um, so gargoyle geckos like Crested's and Lichianus, they all have the same diet. They eat a uh, powdered diet that you rehydrate and then offer to them in small amounts. I offer them in these little stone bowls. It dries out pretty quick too. It dries out fairly quickly, but I mean, it's, it's all right, they can still eat it. In addition to that, you can supplement their diet with um, insects, and that can be crickets, mealworms, uh, if you got a, especially you know, super worms, roaches, pretty much any insect you want to feed them. Yeah. Now guys, too, remember that they are a reptile breeder. They're not open to the public in that aspect. They do have a store that is open to the public, but this is how you breed most geckos. You go to any reptile breeder that has stuff like this, this is it. This is everything they need, hides, food, water, moisture, all that stuff. So this is very normal, and this is pretty much how everybody that I know breeds geckos, at least, so. Yeah, this is really standard, yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're in another little breeding room they have, um, and this is a really cool breeding project I think that you guys are gonna be doing. Um, what do you got there? Besides a big black snake. Man, I have <laughs> a beautiful black pine snake, and this guy, or should I say this girl still has some grown to do. You can hear her puffing. Pine snakes are known <clears throat> to be big bluffers. However, when you handle them, they're usually very docile. They do have pretty good feeding response though, so be careful if you're gonna handle them while you're offering food. Um, we smell like geckos, so that probably doesn't help. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> it it's doesn't help. Yeah, yeah. But um, so yeah, you, this guy, could. Just the blacks you were saying you can't sell out of Florida? Yeah, the blacks. You have to sell in state. That's crazy. And yeah, we just got in a bunch of pine snakes from a local producer, and we're planning on producing a bunch of pine snakes hopefully next year. So uh, keep a lookout at the underground website. Yes. And, uh, plug underground website. Put it across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quick plug. But um, yeah, we got <clears throat> we got the black pines. We have some other beautiful pine snakes. I can show you real quick. <clears throat> This one, Orange Scoot. County, Northern Pine. The contrast on these guys That's is absolutely incredible. insane. Beautiful that. snake. Dude, that's awesome. And right under it, let me just show you one more. That's also Northern Pine. This guy right here. Mm -hmm. This is our Louisiana pine female. Dude, <clears throat> that thing is awesome. Yeah, she's just got that beautiful deep blacks and the, the faded yellow. orange yellowish color. Can I grab out the other one, the top one? Sure. That one is fucking beautiful. Oh man. So pine snakes are really cool. Um, Summer absolutely loves these. She does want to grab a pair of these in the future. But this one, oh my god. Is it a male or female? <clears throat> That's a female. That's a female? Yep. Dude, look at this thing. That one's a Mexican pine snake. Jedi yes. pine snake. That's beautiful, dude. <clears throat> I love how the saddles just changed to a different color, though, on the back. It goes from black to like a brown red color. It's so cool. Alright. You're a little yeah. bit more flighty than everybody else. <laughs> Yeah. The previous owner said that that one actually laid eggs for him. <clears throat> oh, nice. Earlier this year. So, proven breeder. Hopefully, we'll get some more eggs next year. That'll be awesome. So, yep. make sure you guys uh, stay up touch or stay in touch with Underground's website because, again, all the animals that you're going to be seeing in this video will be mostly available on the website either now or in a year. You never know. So, make sure you guys check that website often. All right, guys, we're in the Underground's warehouse. Um, this is where a lot of their imported animals come in. They said we can come in and kind of film with a couple different things. And I immediately started looking for animals, and this is the first thing I spotted I wanted to show you guys. This is really cool. Oh, if I can catch it. So this is a, come on. Don't want you to escape. Come on, come on. Nope, nope, nope. All right, maybe not. Well, if you come over here and look right here, this cute little gecko, I know it's very dark right there. So that's a flying gecko. These guys are endemic to Southeast Asia. 
but you can see his tail here has a lot of really cool looking spikes on it. So their toes are webbed right there, you can kind of see it. And they also have folds of skin underneath their stomach, so when they are jumping through trees, they kind of open those up and they can fly. So, oh, there you go. So you get a better shot of them. You can see all the loose skin around his legs and stuff like that. Oh, you can really see his toes there. That's really cool. Look at that tail. So these guys are really neat. Look at that pattern. They almost look kind of like a some something in the Bittis family. Come on, little buddy. All right, guys, coming over to this cage. This is cool. We're gonna see a lot of baby stuff today. So this is something you normally see in zoos or private clip. Ooh, he already bit me. Come here. <laughs> All right, maybe you can zoom in on him. He does not want me to pick him up. The little baby monkey-tailed skink. How cool is that guy? He's a tiny little dude. Usually you see these guys are massive. Well, I've never been bit by a monkey-tailed skink. I heard that it sucks, but today I didn't find out. Okay, so this one's pretty cool. This is, if I can get one. A little baby spiny tail iguana. Super dope. So they still didn't even get the coloration yet. Look at this tail. Hang on, I'm awkwardly sitting here. Dude, look at this guy. Super cool. This one's just sleeping, but look at that tail, man. Talk about prehistoric. Spiny tails are neat. Look at a sleepy little one. Sleepy little boy. Baby reptiles are so much fun. Spiny tails one of the pretty cool. A lot of people post videos of these adults biting people and stuff, which I don't necessarily agree with. It shows a bad thing, but you can tame them down like most animals, and they make really good pets. You think how get this probably a lot of My substrate, I keep my substrate on my bear, so I got fed. What are you doing, Will? Mass. Nothing, go away. I'm buying isobots. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, I got two. I got two. Dude. Look at these little guys. These are little baby Jackson's chameleons. You can actually, on this darker one here, you can kind of see his face. He's got little horns on there. Man, these guys must have just been born. Yeah, so if you look close enough at their face, you can actually see the three little horns. Little baby Jackson's chameleons. So cool. There's a tote full of them. Hey Will, what you got there? Nothing, you're gonna have to wait until I get home. Yeah. Okay. All right guys, so we just got back from Underground Reptiles. Um, I got a bunch of bugs. You wanna see the bugs? Yeah. So all these little deli cups are, are for the vivariums. Um, mm -hmm. These are millipedes. You wanna see the little millipedes? So these guys are all just kinda gonna go into different vivariums. Mm -hmm. These are cool little red millipedes, tiny little things. You'll see them over time, I'm sure, as I film. You gonna hold them? Okay, hang on, let me close them. All right, can you put them on the thing next to you? Thank you. These are all different types of isopods. I don't have any of these. Um, I'm really excited about these. A couple of them I'm gonna start culturing just because I don't have tanks for them just quite yet. Um, but they have these also available on the website. Nope, we're gonna put them down here. We got, look, we're gonna take these guys out. But this, this is what's really cool. I'm really excited about this. So I got a pair of them. I was told they can live in the vivariums even with the snakes. What, you got, wait, wait, Daddy's gonna take them out, okay? So these guys are really cool. And they reproduce a lot. Oh my God. Dude, cool, look. How cool is that? Whoa, here, let's see if we can get them out. Come on, come on. spikes all over them. Whoa! How cool is that? Yeah, don't bite me. 
oh man, they got spikes on them all over. So the green one is a female, the brown one on top is a male. They are a breeding pair. That is so cool. I'm gonna walk on the camera. Pretty neat, huh? Well, I'd let you hold them, baby, but their feet hurt a little bit, so. But yeah, so these guys are gonna get their own setup. They will be on display, which I think is really cool because they're beautiful. What, hey, don't touch. Would you leave my bugs alone? So that's gonna be it for this, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, definitely check out Underground. I will put their website in the description below. Are you organizing Daddy's bugs? Yeah. And I will see you guys in the next video. Like always, remember, subscribe if you are not already. Smash that like button if you haven't already, right? How do we smash? Pound it. Right? No, pound it. No, no, that's not oh, exactly what I meant. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you later. Bye!